Rebecca, work, pro workshop number 14. Well, thank you so much for joining us. This is September's pro workshop on Lumi Cleanse, Disinfecting Lighting. My name is Rebecca Healy. I'm the Sales and Marketing Coordinator. I've got Doug Nebelsberger, he's the VP of Marketing, and Dave Gershaw, Chief Innovation Officer. So after this webinar, um, at the end, you're going to have an opportunity to take a quiz. And if you receive six correct answers, you're going to be eligible to win some prizes. So we've got two $100 Visa gift cards, five $50 Visa gift cards. Doug threw that one in there on Friday on me. And then we've got 10 Solera Solar cell phone power banks. You can go ahead and just throw this outside, use the solar panel to um, charge it up, or you can just use an outlet in your home and charge it up. So if you have any questions, use the chat function box. I'll do my best to answer those. And then David and Doug are going to go live at the very end to answer your questions. Rebecca, so the goal I got, of these hold on, Rebecca, yep. I got a question. I, got a que I have a question. Okay. Those, the prizes, I made, I made this same bad joke on the Friday webinar, but what's going on with those bottles behind, behind you dressed up? And are those part of the giveaway? Or what's going on with Yes, that? yes. Okay. Well, I'm overriding you, Doug. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. So, yeah, these quickly um you know how some people dress up barbie dolls as little girls well me i dress up wine bottles but this is my nurse costume because it's halloween and i just moved so i that's why i had all my boxes already out and i just said i'm just gonna decorate now here's my witch's costume on the wine and then i've got my what is, is this is this is this a vampire or is this dracula is there, are they the same thing Re Rebecca, the people, the people are going to want to know where to get those. Uh, those so these are all so at Kohl's. Since everything is always on sale, go to Kohl's. You'll find them. I only have three, so I need to up up my game because I've got about twenty for Christmas. So I got yep. Santa's pants. Oh my gosh! Anyway, okay. So um, yeah, you'll find these at Kohl's, and we're going to give one of these away. Yeah, I think yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. And this pro workshop Thanks, brought David. to you by Coles. Shop Coles. Just kidding. Rebecca. <laughs> All right. The goal of these pro workshops are to provide updates on our company, introduce you to cool new products, and to provide some success stories, and then to test your knowledge at the very end. All right. So, Doug, what's the latest with light efficient design? Well, we've got a we've got a lot going on. Um, before we get to the main event of uh, David uh, introducing you guys to our uh, UVC fixture, um, got a little company update for you guys. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about branding. Um, Light Efficient Design's been around now for over 12 years. Uh, when I joined the company five years ago, uh, the products that we were selling were uh, screw in HID retrofits and uh, pin based retrofits, replacing. Uh, T8s, T5s, and uh, CFLs, um, and great, really deep portfolio, high quality products. Um, fast forward to 2018, and the two companies merged. Uh, we merged with David's company, Remfoss, and added retrofit kits and fixtures to our product portfolio. You know, majority of the Remfoss products have that flex color, flex watt, flex control technology built into it, backed up with 10 year warranty generally have DLC premium on the products as well. Uh, that same year, in 2018, we launched our uh, work light category. Um, that one pictured there is our 100 watt work light, one of our top selling products. And we've expanded that lineup uh, as we've uh, gone on over time. That same year, we uh, launched a uh, solar LED area light, all in one design. Um, and last year, we introduced a bunch of uh, additional off-grid fixtures and really have been pushing the uh, Solera solar lighting name uh, this year in 2020. And then the last brand is a, uh, is a new one as well, and that's LumiCleanse. And that's the one that we're gonna be talking about here today. Um, that fixture on the top is the one that you've uh, probably seen from us now, um, but we're gonna take a deep dive into that. And then we're gonna be a little sneak peek into this uh, UVC cart that's a little bit larger. Um, so, you know, for really this entire year, we've been working on, on our branding, and it's really been more of an internal discussion, but now today, this is kind of our formal announcement of, you know, our four brands, Light Efficient Design, Remfoss, Solera, and LumiCleanse, and the different product categories that fall under each of them. So we've got seven different uh, product categories there, which again, you know, when I started was uh, two product categories. So it's really cool to see the evolution of our product portfolio. 
And uh, just to, I guess, reinforce these brands and all these product categories, um, just a week ago now, we uh, updated our homepage on our website. Uh, so if you haven't been there, uh, give, it, give it a look. Um, we, tried to, we always try to make it a little bit, you know, more user friendly as we go on. One of the things of feedback was we had these similar uh, category icons on the website, but you couldn't click them. So now if you go to our website, you can click on screw and retrofits, you can click on solar lights, and it'll take, take you to a page uh, featuring all of those products. Um, but this is just, you know, again, reinforcing, you know, what brands are with what product categories. Um, and then you even get a little sneak peek to a new section that we added, which is new product highlights. Um, most of you guys know we're always pretty busy at Light Efficient Design innovating and coming out with new products. So now when you go there, you can see that. Um, here's the first four that you see, but our flex color bollards, our hybrid solar area light, the new thousand watt shoebox retrofit, and then the UVC, the main event for today. Um, but there's actually eight to 10 different products uh, depending on the week. Um, so those will scroll through. And then beneath them are some of our really popular uh, marketing materials like our company catalog, um, our Solera brochure, our uh, Solera applications photos, and then our LBI versatility flyer, which is really great. Just shows you some of the really uh, cool uh, ways that you can use that LBI product. So if you haven't taken a look, um, you know, please go to our uh, website and we'd love, uh, love your guys' feedback. You know, we make the website for you guys. Um, so really appreciate it. And then the last thing uh, that I wanted to mention is our, uh, our product development team has been working really hard during the pandemic uh, to, bring, to bring us and bring you guys, you know, many new products. So what I have here on, on the screen is a representation of some of the products that we introduced uh, back in Q1 and Q2. And, and many of these are Q3 and Q4 introductions. Um, so a really great piece. Uh, be on the lookout for an email coming from us um, in the next couple of days, and you'll see this as a PDF uh, attachment. So um, without further ado, it's time to uh, move to the main events, new product innovation. Uh, so David, um, stop sharing and uh, take, take it away. All right, thanks, Doug. Let me bring this presentation up here. And if I am a little bit spaced out today, today is a Jewish holiday, Yom Kippur, and I'm fasting. So I haven't eaten since last night, which is great because I'm trying to lose weight. So from that perspective, we're in good shape, but I'll try to, uh, try to keep us on, it's on not schedule good. here. All righty. So I wanted to start out the presentation, there we go, by letting everyone know that we are back open for customer visits in our Middleton Mass Manufacturing and Innovation Center. Really excited about that. Um, we've been closed down during most of COVID, uh, except for manufacturing and, and a lot of the, the critical work that needs to take place to keep the business going, but we're back up and running. Uh, so let us know if you have any customers you'd like to bring by. Um, we've already done a few trainings. We uh, respect the social distancing. We actually have some really cool PPE. We have some custom light efficient design uh, face coverings that we can give to your customers. Uh, we are doing lunches that are individually packaged, but we're back up and running in that $5 million building that we invested in a few years ago and is still an amazing training facility, education facility. So let any of your regional know, regionals know, let us know, let me know if you want to bring some of your customers by. Because I know that what we're hearing is that, you know, customers are definitely itching to get out there and see new and exciting products since everyone's been cooped up for, for so long. So before I got into the topic that we're here to talk about today, which is disinfection germicidal lighting, I wanted to give you some background as to our history and experience in this space. The reason why I think it's so important to spend a few moments touching on the history that we have in this space is that when this pandemic hit, there's quite a few companies, lighting companies, other types of companies that saw the dollar signs and said, hey, we want to get into disinfection lighting, and they didn't have any experience in it. They don't have any experience in it. They're just trying to make a quick buck. Disinfection lighting, dermicidal lighting can be a very powerful tool, as we're about to show you if it's utilized correctly. Um, we have a lot of experience in this space that you may not know of. So what is that experience? Uh, back in about 2014, I started working on a project to develop sterilization medical devices. So 
Um, you can see down here the picture of this woman's neck. That's a central line catheter that if you're having a really uh, difficult medical procedure, they might put in um, into your body. So, but it's the, the catheter is very similar to if you're going to the doctor's office or the hospital and they put a catheter in quickly to draw blood. The issue that the army is having is that these are often dirty, um, dirty places, dirty places that infections can be brought into the body. So in about 2014, I started working on a project with the U.S. Army, funded by the U.S. Army, to develop a sterilization device that uses ultraviolet UVC LEDs to sterilize those catheters. I started another company in about 2016-17 called Gamma Therapeutics, where we have a team of uh, microbiologists, of scientists, of engineers, partnered with hospitals like Mass General and Harvard, um, and this is one of the devices down here that we're working on developing. This is like a little flashlight, if you will. In the end here, this plugs into the port of that catheter. You press a button and it sterilizes that catheter, not even disinfects, but actually sterilizes it. So I have a lot of experience in this space. And when this pandemic hit, I said, hey, we can take the experience that I have at this other company that I'm part of, Gamma Therapeutics, and start to bring some products to market under the light efficient design um, company name. So that's the history. Um, I'm very proud of it. It's a really exciting project where we, we have the opportunity to, to save lives, make a big impact in the medical field. So very exciting project. I'd love to talk to you more about it if you're interested, but I'm going to move on. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a history um, uh, and background as to why we are in this space and why we're so excited about how it could be a tool. So goals and objectives of my, my presentation today are going to be one, to talk about some of the different cleaning methods available. What do I mean by that? I like to back up. Whenever I'm in front of a, uh, say, a, a property manager or facilities manager of a university or a building, before I talk about how excited we are about how light can help them disinfect their space, I like to take a step back and recognize that light is part of a multifaceted approach to cleaning their facility. It's not the silver bullet. It's not the end all be all. And I think by doing that, you build trust, you build confidence with your customer instead of running in and saying, hey, 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 we have the best product in town. It's gonna to solve all your needs. So we're gonna talk quickly about some of the cleaning methods available. We're gonna talk about the three different types of light-based cleaning. So what are the three different technologies if you're gonna use light for cleaning that are available? We're gonna take a little bit of a deep dive into how light disinfects. We're gonna introduce the product that, that you know of Today, under our LumiCleanse brand, that LumiCleanse UVC1, our first product under that LumiCleanse uh, umbrella. We're gonna talk about where to use it. We're gonna talk about some future products that we have coming down the pipeline. We're gonna talk about an example project in a hotel on a casino, how you can help a customer that comes to you and says, hey, I have a certain room size. Where should I put these devices? How can they be deployed? So we'll show you an example to help you with that. We'll compare it to some other products on the market. We'll talk about a point of sale marketing idea for um, our distributors on the call that might want to put this in their branches. And then we'll finish it with, of course, our quiz and uh, open it up for Q&A. We had a really good turnout for the Q&A on Friday. Um, I'm happy to stick around as long as you need me to to answer questions. So first off, the cleaning methods available. And again, this is really to build trust with your customer, to explain to them that you understand that light-based cleaning is part of a multifaceted approach. So we're gonna talk about light-based cleaning. Our company is not involved in chemical cleaning or surface coatings, but chemical cleanings and surface coatings are gonna still continue to be a very important part of cleaning your facility. Chemical cleaning, right, bleach, um, that image on the right, that Clorox unit right here, that's a pretty cool like Clorox gun that I've seen used at manufacturing plants. Surface coatings are up and coming. So surface coatings that provide antimicrobial resistance. So these are relatively expensive and new, but they can be sprayed onto a doorknob or a tabletop or maybe a handle. Um, and they, what they promise is days or weeks or months of extended antimicrobial coverage. We're gonna focus on light-based cleaning. So what are the three different types of light-based cleaning that are available? UVC, far UVC, and then what we'll call white light disinfection, which uses LEDs that are in the 405 to 420 nanometer spectrum not UV at all, it's actually like violet light. So we're gonna focus on UVC today, but just very quickly so that you understand the other technologies that are up and coming that are available. Um, FAR UVC, very interesting technology. It's relatively new, hasn't been around for very long, 
the idea of it is that it can kill organisms very similar to the way that UVC does, which is what we're going to talk about, but there's the potential that it could be safe for humans to be under it. It's unclear so far, science, there's not a lot of science on this. It's still a lot of experiments, a lot of research going on in this far UVC field. We know that humans can safely pass under it, like in that, that's a product from Lighting Science Group. It's kind of like a portal or a gate that a human would pass under and it would clean their body. So we know that they can quickly pass through it. Um, the question is, you know, how long is safe exposure to far UVC? In my mind and some of, in, in a lot, many scientists' minds, that's still a question that needs to be answered. But it's a very exciting new technology that I'm sure we'll see a lot of data, a lot of companies getting into soon. Um, on the right of the screen, that white light disinfection, we're gonna be getting into this space. So we're partnered with a company called Vital Vio, and they own a bunch of patents in the space that we've licensed. What's really cool about the white light disinfection is that we can build a light fixture, say a drum, circular drum fixture that might go in the hallway of a, um, a university dorm, or maybe a wall sconce that would go on the, hall, uh, on the wall rather of, uh, of a hotel down the hallway. And the light looks like regular 4,000 Kelvin or 3,500 Kelvin light. It doesn't look purplish, violetish. It doesn't look awkward at all. But because of the technology built into those LEDs, those very unique LEDs, it's actually disinfecting continuously while, that, while those LEDs are running. So it's kind of a hidden um, white light disinfection technology that's safe for people to be under and around 24 seven as long as possible. Um, but it provides around the clock disinfection. Really interesting technology that we're gonna be bringing a number of products to market soon. So we're gonna focus on UVC today. So how does UVC work? Is it a mystery? How exactly does UVC work? I'll try to explain it in some simple, kind of break, uh, break it out into some simple terms, simple methods. So light, light is a form of electromagnetic radiation and we measure light in nanometers, which is the wavelength of the light. So down here on the bottom, this diagram, you can see the UVs over here on the left, visible light and infrared. So UV, which is what we're gonna talk about today, and specifically UVC, is over here on the far left of that diagram. Visible spectrum, your reds, your greens, your blues, that's in the middle. And then infrared is over here on the right. Infrared is like the remote control for your television, that uses infrared. Um, what's so interesting about UVC specifically is that it doesn't exist anywhere on earth. It doesn't come from any natural source like the sun. UVA and UVB come from the sun. So organisms, bacteria, viruses, pathogens that have been around a lot longer on this earth than humans have developed natural defenses to UVA and UVB. But UVC, since it doesn't come from any natural, natural source, it's only produced by artificial sources, these organisms have not developed any defense to them. So that's why it's so powerful as a tool to kill these organisms. How exactly does it kill? How does it disinfect? So if we look at this diagram over here, in the bottom on the left of the screen, this is, let's pretend like this is a bacteria. This is E. coli or salmonella. You can see all these DNA strands, the strands of the DNA nicely aligned, lined up. This is before treatment. After UVC treatment, what that UVC light does to those, to that DNA, those DNA strands is break those bonds. Um, microorganisms reproduce by multiplying. They have very short lives and they need to reproduce very quickly. So loss of their ability to grow and multiply is classified as cellular death and means that they're no longer harmful. And what we show in that diagram on the left there is that when they're exposed to that UVC treatment, it's breaking up, their, those, um, their, it's breaking up that, that DNA, it's disrupting it. It makes it so that they can't reproduce, they can't multiply, and therefore they're no longer harmful, no longer pathogenic. So that's kind of a simplified way to explain how UVC work, um, so UVC light works. What is the proper wavelength of UVC? We see a lot of, of different companies out there with different technologies, different products, and there's confusion. Um, I was on the phone with a customer last week, a big distributor, who was confused about is there a proper wavelength of UVC? Are some companies using an improper wavelength of UVC? So mercury vapor lamps, which is the technology that we're using in our first product, the LumiCleanse UVC-1, operates at 254 nanometers. UVC LEDs usually operate around 275 to 280 nanometers. So does one work or one not work? It turns out both work. Both those wavelengths work. 
Um, the difference is, is that if you were to look at different organisms, E. coli, salmonella, certain viruses, different organ organisms react differently to slightly different wavelengths of light. They will all be wiped out by either 254 or 275 to 280 nanometers. So all of them are going to be um, affected, killed by these wavelengths. Um, some of them may be a little bit better killed by the 254. Some of them may be a little bit, um, you know, more effectively killed or efficiently killed at the 280. But either of these wavelengths will kill all of them. So why are we using a mercury vapor quartz lamp in our first product, the, the LumiCleanse UVC-1? Um, mercury vapor quartz has been around for many, many years, 20 plus years. Um, we can get it in slightly higher power for lower cost today. It has proven quality. Um, but like, like it says in the bottom of that chart, they're both highly effective at killing all of these organisms. So we wanted to bring a product to market faster, as fast as we possibly could with this first product, the LumiCleanse UVC-1. We were able to do that with a mercury vapor lamp. That doesn't mean that we won't be offering UVC LED technology. I'll actually show you one of the products we have coming down the pipeline that does use UVC, UVC LEDs. But this first product, we wanted to hit a certain price point come to market quickly, we were able to achieve that using mercury vapor. All right, let's talk about the actual fixture that we are here to, to, um, to really get into details in, the LumiCleanse UVC-1. Our goal with this product, when we started working on this back in March, was to be first to market with an ETL and FCC tested product at this price point. As far as we're aware, I don't think there is any other product, sub $200, that has the proper ETL or UL and FCC testing um, ratings and listings. That was extremely important to us. And I think you can appreciate why it was important to us and why it would be important to your customer. Light Efficient Design as a company will not get behind any product that does not have proper certifications and listings. It's just too risky, too much liability involved for us, involved for you, involved for your customer. So this was critical to us and we wanted to be first to market to have a product in this price point that has those certifications. We wanted it to be simple to use and safe to use and not requiring a professional installation. Um, when I go full screen in a second and show you the product, you'll see that it has a nine foot core on it with a simple uh, 120 volt AC wall plug on one end of it. You're just gonna take this unit, set it on a desk or hang it, plug it into the wall and that's it. A lot of competitors products do require a professional installation. We also wanted it to be safe to use. So I'll talk about when I do the live demo in a second here, some of the integrated safety features that we built into this. We wanted it to be low cost, like I mentioned, that's sub $200 price point. And we wanted it to be coming from a reputable brand and a warranty. There's a lot of products out there. I'll actually show you one when I do a comparison um, towards the end of the presentation to some other products on the market. There was a, there was, um, I kept getting advertisements, I think on Instagram or Amazon, for a $130 um, UVC disinfection light. I purchased it um, and we'll compare ours to that. Similar price point, not so similar in the features and quality and no warranty, whereas ours has a one year warranty. So let me actually stop the share for one second here and go full screen so that we can see it nice and big. So this is the LumiCleanse UVC one. Um, it's about 17 inches tall by about seven inches in diameter. So it's a nice compact unit that can sit on a desk. It's made from metal. You'll see when I show the comparison to one of the other products that I purchased off of Amazon, it's cheap, flimsy, cheap, flimsy plastic. This is metal, both the bottom, the cage around the bulb and the top of it. Um, you can set this on a surface. You could hang it, so you can pendant hang it. You actually have one customer that's looking at using these in subway cars, um, a transit authority. So they looked at using one of the higher, po higher powered, more expensive products available out there um, from one of our competitors. And that product would have worked great, but they're looking at, hey, can we use, instead of one of those more expensive, higher powered products, can we use five or six of these kind of daisy chains? And they're gonna, when the subway cars come in at night, they're gonna do some chemical cleaning. They're gonna hang these um, from those subway cars and they're gonna rotate them through. So they're gonna clean subway car one, um, then they're gonna move on to subway car two and move these to the next car, so on and so forth. Um, there's the integrated motion sensor down there. So this is an integrated microwave motion sensor that will pick up motion from animals and humans so that if an animal or human accidentally enters the space while that disinfection is taking place, it's gonna very quickly turn it off before it could cause any harm. 
Um, this was critical to us integrating into our product. And you'll see the competitors out there that don't have ETL or UL don't have this built into it. It adds a little bit of cost to the product, but it's extremely important to, um, to, to, to ensuring that you have a safe operation. The way that this works is there's a little handheld remote control. There's also a button on the bottom here that turns it on and allows you to select either 15, 30, or 60 minutes of operation. How do you choose the different periods of time? It has to do with how large your space is. So this is good for up to 100 square feet, 100 square feet. Um, and at 100 square feet, you're gonna do that full 60 minutes. If you had about 75 square feet, you're at that 30 minutes. And if you're at uh, about 50 square feet, 15 minutes. It's not an end all be all type of thing. It's not black and white. If you, if we, and let me give you an example of what I mean by that. If uh, you had a private office, like I have at work, about a 10 by 10 office. So one of these lamps is gonna be the perfect amount to disinfect that 10 by 10 space, right? 100 square feet. And say I'm going to lunch. So I think I'm going to lunch for about 30 minutes. So I set it to a 30 minute disinfection period. If one of your coworkers walks in accidentally after 10 minutes, it's not like it's, you know, the, the cleaning is negated. A lot of organisms, a huge percentage of organisms were disabled during that five or 10 minute period, even though it didn't get to run that full 30 minutes. So it's not totally black or white. Anything is still better than, than nothing as far as how long of a duration the, the UVC stays on. All right, let me go back to our presentation here. All righty. So ETL logo up top, like we talked about, works on 120 volts, one year warranty. Um, we are using that germicidal quartz lamp that has that proven track record at 254 nanometers, designed it with safety in mind. We showed that integrated motion sensor, right? That's gonna disable it if anybody goes into that space. Perfect for placement on tables, workbenches. It can even be pent and hung like we, sh like we talked about as that metal hook on top. So it can be pent and hung as well from the ceiling uses 38 watts. The max coverage is about 100 square feet. And of course, we want it to be ETL and FCC tested. Very, very important to us. We do not create ozone with this lamp. What is ozone and why am I mentioning it? So there's a lot of products out there that, are, that say, hey, 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 we include ozone. Our lamp, our lamp outputs ozone. So why do we not include it? It turns out that ozone is a useful tool in disinfection. But the issue is, is that you, if you don't properly uh, ventilate your space after use, it can cause coughing, it can cause headaches. Um, I've been in a space personally that had a lot of ozone in that room. It can be a strong odor. It, does, it did cause me to cough a little bit. So we do not include ozone in any of our products and we won't include ozone in any of our products. Even though it's an interesting tool for disinfection, we recognize that your customers may use this in a, in a bathroom and in interior offices that can't have windows open. So we don't wanna bother with that. Um, we don't wanna bother with the trouble that that could cause. So we do not include ozone in any of our products. Here's a look at the cut sheet. So um, really nice cut, cut sheet package that I think does a great job at effectively communicating what's the technology, how does it work, what is exactly the specs of the product that we're selling. The last page of the cut sheet over here on the right of the screen, I think is really cool. Um, I've personally given probably about 20 or 30 of these webinars in the last couple of months to our great, great customers and partners. And we've accumulated a lot of questions that, that people have asked during the webinars and we've put answers to them on that last page. So frequently asked questions and answers I think does, does a great job at alleviating a lot of the um, commonly asked things that, that you might get asked right there without even asking our product managers. Of course, we're happy to answer any questions you may have. Um, on the bottom of the second page, you can see this, I'll zoom into this in a second, but see how it says dosimeter card? Let's zoom into that. We now have available these UVC dosimeter cards. What's so cool about these, they're playing card size, see them over here on the left. And what happens is they change color when they reach the appropriate dosage of UVC light. So this is a great way to check operation of your fixture. If a customer has a hotel room and you've determined that, that three units are the proper quantity of units, and we can help you do that, to, to disinfect that square footage of hotel space, but they're kind of concerned, hey, there's a, a TV over here, there's a high back uh, chair over here, there's a, there's a 
light fixture over here that's dark colored. We're worried about shadowing. Will the UV light actually get to where it needs to go? These UVC dosimeter cards are a great way to actually check. So you can put a few of these out in the space and, can, and run, a, uh, run the, the proper length duration UVC exposure with the, with the UVC one lamp from us and go back to it and say, hey, did they change color? Did this area of the room get enough exposure to the UVC light? So we now have these available. We have third-party testing data available. Because of my experience, experience at Gamma Therapeutics, um, I have a background in testing. We know the labs to go to. So we're constantly going to be checking um, and, and testing our products, this product and our future product, against all kinds of organisms to make sure that they're effective and efficient at killing these organisms. And this is going to be a living and breathing document. It is downloadable on our website, so it's available if you want to show your customers um, the testing that we've done. This is going to be living and breathing, and we're going to be adding to this document as we do more and more testing. We've sold over 6,000 units of the LumiCleanse UVC-1. Really, really proud of that. Um, I know that we have more inventory coming into stock soon. It's been difficult, and we appreciate your patience. Um, if you're a customer that's already purchased some of these units previously um, and are waiting for them to come in, we did have some hiccups with ETL and UL. Um, not with us uh, having any issues passing, but ETL and UL in the middle changed up their, their requirements a little bit, wanted to make it more stringent to make sure that enough they were doing enough testing to make sure that they were safe devices to be used. Um, so they kind of changed up their program for testing in the middle of our, our uh, test process, and we had to start over. So it took longer, and we appreciate your patience because these are finally coming into stock now, and I know that we have a lot of units being built but 6,000 units sold to date, so big success so far. Where can we use this product? Offices, bathrooms, break rooms, maintenance rooms, service counters, hotel rooms. I'll show the example of that hotel uh, resort customer in a minute where we help them do a layout. These are all appropriate places, and there are, of course, more appropriate places to use this technology. So what are some of the future products that are coming to market? Really excited about this. So these products are, are really designed to be higher power, larger spaces, quicker duration for disinfection. This product is the UVC 200 watt LED card. You can see up here how it works. So it's almost like a big Pelican case on wheels that you open up. It has a telescoping arm that pops out. You can see that high power 200 watt LED UVC module on top of there. And you can angle the light engines depending on, do I want to blast all the light in one direction? Do I want to have it shine 360 degrees around the space like this image shows right here? So this is going to be a really cool unit, higher price point, significantly higher price point than our current product, but designed for much larger spaces, a thousand square feet or so, um, and much faster time frames. And if you have any questions, I see a couple of questions coming up. Um, please type questions into the Q&A so that, that we see them after, not the chat box, but the Q&A. This unit right here, um, this is going to be our, our unit kind of in the middle. It doesn't do as large of a space as that 200 watt LED card, but it will do significantly more than our existing 38 watt uh, quartz UVC, LumiCleanse UVC1. So this unit might be good for like, say, 500 square feet or 700 square feet. Uh, so look for this as well, because this is going to be introduced very soon. All right, let's look at that project analysis, analysis at a hotel or casino. So if we look over here at the diagram, this is a black and white CAD image um, or sketch of the room. So you can see here's the bed, right? Here's the, here's the pillows on the bed. Here's the foot of the bed. Here's the TV stand with a couple of chairs. Here's the uh, little sitting area with a sofa. Here's the restroom, toilet. Um, countertop. So in this particular example, we're recommending three LumiCleanse UVC ones. One, two, three, those three yellow dots. Um, so this is the type of thing that, that Tushar, our product manager, engineer for um, LumiCleanse can help you with. We can also train you so that when you're looking at or giving these diagrams, you can quickly help your customer evaluate. But in this example, in this standard guest room, we're recommending three units. This hotel also has a one bedroom suite. So here, here's the bed again. So we're recommending one on the nightstand here to kind of blast this whole area. One over here on this little table uh, to blast this whole area. 
one on the uh, countertop in the restroom, one on the TV night TV stand, and then one on this little sitting table. And then one over here, because this has a separate uh, countertop over here. So six units in this particular space. So that should hopefully give you an idea of how we can help assist with layout. And like I showed those cool UVC dosimeter cards, you could place those units in here, put some of those dosimeter cards around the room in various spaces, maybe four or five of them, and make sure that the UV is reaching everywhere in that room. Um, another thing to note for this particular hotel is that the way that they're envisioning deploying the LumiCleanse UVC-1 is that they will put a bunch of these on the cleaning crew's carts and they'll rotate them through the rooms in addition to their chemical cleaning when they're doing guest changes. So, you know, in, let's say guest room one, they go in there, they do their chemical cleaning, they put the six units out there like this shows, uh, they, they run that 30 minute cleaning period they're moving on to room two, doing the chemical cleaning there, and then they're gonna rotate those units through. So that, uh, that cleaning cart on every floor might have 15 or 20 units to help them cycle them through different, different units, depending on, of course, how many uh, rooms there are on that hotel floor. All right, let's compare our product to some of the other products out there on the market. So here's our unit on the left. Let me grab the unit I purchased off the of Amazon. So this was $130, got this in a couple weeks ago. Extremely flimsy. Um, I could probably show here when I was bringing it up to my office, the, uh, the legs of it kind of snapped out. There you can see. So it's really thin plastic, really chintzy. The whole thing is this cheap chintzy plastic. This does not have ETL, doesn't have any UL testing, doesn't have integrated safety sensor. It does produce ozone, so you'd have to properly ventilate that space. Doesn't have any warranty. Um, and quite frankly, I think it's a safety concern and a liability concern because the whole thing is made of plastic. This is plugging into 120 volts. It draws you know, 38 watts, so decent, decent amount of wattage. And it hasn't been tested. It's just a plastic base. Who knows it's gonna, if it's going to catch fire or what's going to happen with it. So similar price point to our product, but a huge difference. So this is the type of comparison that if one of your customers goes to you and says, hey, why do I need to buy the light efficient de design device? I can find one on Instagram, on Facebook, on Google, whatever. You can use this as ammo to fight back and say, hey, our product may be a similar price point, but it is not similar in the quality and the testing that's been done. Comparing our product to some higher price products on the market, um, on the left is, is a, some products from our, our friends over at Puro. On the right, these are some products from, from Lighting Science Group's Healthy Division. I have nothing bad to say about any of these products. There are a number of good companies, good manufacturers in this space that are doing the proper product design, the proper safety testing, um, and, are, and are designing and delivering good quality disinfection lighting. These products have a higher price point, designed for larger spaces, um, and and possibly faster operation. We really wanted to focus with this first product we brought to market on that low price point, great value proposition, but still a safe and effective, effective product to use. All right, a quick marketing idea that we have. So let's pretend that this is the service counter at a distributor called AGN, just a made up name. We could take one of the LumiCleanse UVC1 packages. You can see the nice job that our, our marketing team did at developing this packaging. That could go on the counter. It's a nice compact box, but it's a nice retail, kind of bright in your face packaging. You could take the unit, take it out of the box, put it next to it. We could help you design some labels that would go kind of on the perimeter of that unit and says AGN Cares or whatever the name of your, your, uh, your, your company is. And I think that kind of does uh, two things. One is it's a great tool that that contractor checking out says, checking out at the service counter says, wow, I didn't know that you offered disinfection lighting at this price point. I have some opportunities for this. And two, it shows that it shows that customer, that contractor, that you guys really care about their health and that you're doing everything you can to keep them, them safe by actually using these devices after hours or between, between customer visits to clean that service area and make sure it's as clean as possible and as hygienic as possible for them. So that's just a quick little point of sale display idea that we have. And to finish up, this is our last slide, and then we'll move on to Rebecca's exciting section of doing our, our test your knowledge. Um, I really wanna just comment that what I said before in the beginning that one size does not fit all for cleaning. 
using lighting for disinfection is really part of a multifaceted approach. And I think by explaining that to your customer, by not just walking in and saying, hey, we have the end all be all, we're the, we're the, we're the one solution that's gonna solve all your problems, by admitting that this is a extremely powerful tool that can be added to your toolkit to clean your facility, I think is a great way to build trust and confidence in your customer.